What's up kids, this is Matt Schaefer with GearZombie.com and today we are talking about adjusting the bridge or saddle height on an acoustic guitar. Now I was all prepared to do an adjustment on this one and uh, ended up finding that once I got torn apart there was a shim in there. Once I yanked the shim out everything was fine and it sat where, uh, um, sat pretty good actually. Um, but regardless of the fact that mine didn't really need the adjustment, I'm going to go ahead and show you what process you would go through anyway, some of the things you might run into when trying to tweak your action. Um, or just get better playability out of your acoustic guitar. If you don't know how to do this and you're afraid you're going to murder it, don't. So if you're not very familiar with working on an acoustic guitar, it's uh, it's a little different than working on an electric guitar because you're actually dealing with uh, wood that you have to modify, um, and if you screw it up, then, well, you could be replacing a part. But where it is similar uh, to an electric is you still have, if you can see in here, you still have a truss rod adjustment uh, in here which will um, adjust any relief or play that you will have in the neck. Okay, so had I need to make an adjustment, um, this would be what I would need to adjust. And um, some of these are made out of bone, this particular one's made out of plastic. Now what my plan would have been for this part once I pulled it out would actually have been to sand this down. And if you look, there are notches across this right here. So um, you can actually tell how far you're taking it down. The trick is that when you sand this down, you're going to want to sand it, you know, on a very flat surface. And uh, probably with sandpaper that's not super, super coarse. In my case, from the factory, it had a pretty big shim that was stuffed down in there. Um, which, if you're not familiar what shimming is, this was a, a small piece of plastic um, that was sunk down in the hole there that made this sit up farther. So in this case, all I had to do was remove that shim and away we went. So as we talked about the truss rod, the other thing you should totally make sure is that your neck is properly adjusted. That's going to make a huge difference because whatever you do here is going to be impacted by here. So you want to make sure that your neck is straight. It's one of those things that if you're not comfortable adjusting it, I guess the most I can say is don't be afraid. Just don't wrench it. So um, basically turning your truss rod, um, which most of these will just take a typical Allen head, um, but that's going to make your neck either um, sink in the middle or come up. So um, generally, um, on pretty much all of my guitars, there's just a little bit of, of relief. So just a, a, a little, just a tiny dip. But um, this one is pretty good. I've got a truss rod. I think I've got a nut here. But, um, don't. I can maybe use just a little bit. So back to the bridge. I was all prepared to file this down. So um, as we had talked about before, um, you've got your notches across here. Um, and these are great if you're actually going to sand it down because if you're going to sand it down um, then you can actually take this and you can sand it and sand it to the next set of lines and see where you're at, throw it back in the guitar, give it a, give it a whirl and see where you're at. Um, key part with this would be keeping it on a flat surface and making sure that you're, and making sure that you're filing it pretty evenly. I didn't need a whole lot there, so um, it's actually sitting pretty good. So let's string it back up and see what's happening. Mm-hmm. 
There you go, little acoustic guitar noodling. So the strings are nasty, it needs a new set of strings, but all in all, uh, it's a very playable guitar now. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if this helped you out at all, hit subscribe. Check out my other videos. I'm going to start posting a ton of tutorials and uh, whatnots. I'm going to clean this dusty thing off. And... GearZombie.com.